I've played golf since I was 14 or 15 and my dad was, my dad's a professional, he, he taught me taught me everything I know about it really as I was growing up and uh, I, just, I just loved the, when I was, especially when I was coming up through school, like playing with your mates and stuff like that was always enjoyable and then um, I just love the, the competitiveness of it but you're out there as an individual and you're kind of able to kind of, yeah, I just I guess you express yourself like a sport. I played a lot of football as a, as a kid but you're obviously always reliant on a team but I, I kind of loved the individual, individual element of golf and uh, yeah, I love competing so it was, it was a nice uh, combo. I turned pro off. I want to say plus six. I got to plus five point five, but I was plus I was plus five when I turned pro. Um, and my breakthrough to pro, I, I turned pro in twenty seventeen. I played um, I played the Open Championship, which was kind of my um, breakthrough at the end of my amateur career, and then getting to play the Walker Cup was was obviously the ice on the Cape Relief really, amateur golf and I turned pro straight after that and got onto the European Tour which was a it was very very fast it all kind of happened at once it was a time in 2017 I thought I was maybe going to turn pro the next year and I ended up um, turning pro and having a European Tour card at the end of that year which was amazing but um, unfortunately I lost my card last year but um, I think all the experiences all in one it's probably a great thing for me to be on Challenge for this year and hopefully come back a, a stronger player next year. I think for me, when I was getting into golf and becoming more uh, serious about golf, it was guys like Sergio, Tiger, you know, guys with, uh, you know, kind of flamboyant on the golf course, different different shots and think like Sergio's shot at, um, at Medina around the tree and stuff like that. It was just like kind of stuff that made you just kind of, you know, fall in love with golf, like that, that sort of thing. So yeah, those guys, uh, more recently probably Rory, I love the way he kind of carries himself on the golf course and the way he goes about things. And these are guys you kind of, you know, inspire to be like, I suppose. Getting to travel the, travel the world. I think that's the, it's probably the best and worst things right enough, but it's uh, definitely the best thing. Some of the places you get to go and see are obviously some of the countries I would have visited through golf has been has been incredible. So yeah, definitely the travel. The Open is is the one I think. Yeah, definitely. I've always that was the first tournament I went to as a kid. I went with, with my dad in 2004. Um, he would always take me and get a little shirt um, and all that, and that was all all part of it. And definitely got me into golf that little bit quicker out getting to go and see the guys playing um, but yeah it was always he's always loved it like he grew up in St Andrews and I think obviously being the home of golf and that was you know the home you know the home tournament I guess or uh, the home of golf so I think it's just it's just the one I could probably that's it finished second on the European Tour last year and that was a big moment for me unfortunately obviously I didn't end up uh, keeping my car but it was it was a, a big thing for me to be able to um, you know that I could that I could perform at the highest level in Europe really that was a big thing for me but I did win on the challenge to this year and I'm now thinking back that was probably the best thing you can't really beat winning I think that's the the big thing about it is anytime you get an opportunity to win it's so difficult at any level to be fair to, to win and I think getting that win on the challenge tour was was massive My driving, yeah, but normally, which would normally pretty accurate off the tee. Practice is mega important. I, I obviously I, I warm up before every round, which is kind of I'm working on my wedge, my wedge game every day. So I practice, practice hard to play easy. I think that's the motto I use, and just trying to. You know, if I, as long as I'm, if I'm practicing hard, when it comes to tournaments, I can. I'm a bit more relaxed, and knowing that I've done the done the work to hopefully be able to perform. I've always loved Adidas. I think the the quality of the stuff is, is amazing. I obviously grown up being football. I was my Man United fan, um, Rangers, my teams, and I. You know, obviously when they were sponsored by Adidas, it was brilliant, and um, that always loved the brand. I think. For me as a golfer, obviously having the off and on course side of things, you can express yourself both ways. I think the quality of stuff on the course, the added cost range is brilliant. And then going into the off course stuff with your gym, gym gear, it's, it's great to kind of have that in uh, unison there. So I, I, you know, just love the love everything about Adidas. To be fair, the, the guys they've got on board is all, it's all awesome. I 
try and keep things quite in terms of five years my targets this year were, were to try and get my European tour card back so obviously my, my years would depend on how if, if or not I was able to do that so I, I kind of base things on year by year sort of thing just trying to figure out where I'm at and trying to trying to move forward there but yeah long term golf is obviously is to try and be a successful European tour player PGA tour player and, and trying to trying to get myself out there but there's obviously to think that would be a straight line is it would be silly and I think there's lots of obstacles I'm going to have to try and pass to get to that stage so this year obviously hopefully I can get off the challenge tour and that would be a big step in my career and then we'll see what happens hopefully hopefully it will be just the start of it really. My advice to young guys coming through, young guys and girls really is just, just practice and enjoy it. I think there's a lot put on hitting balls and stuff like that but you know if you've got maybe a few mates you can play with and different uh, just testing your skills really you know going out and playing nine holes little chipping comps and stuff like that is going to get you into that competitive spirit of it and yeah just keep working hard and enjoying it I, there was never really a time that I I'm obviously very privileged to play golf as my as my career now but um, I always played it as a sport I just loved and then you know it kind of fell into place that I was able to play it as a play it for a living it's, it's incredible but um, yeah just got to just got to keep enjoying it and um, and just see where it takes you really.